What's up guys, it's Megan. Welcome to another day of Vlogmas. Today I am a part of a gingerbread house collab and I am so excited because I actually did two DIYs for this video. I tried to make them as quickly as possible because one of them is so easy, which is these gingerbread earrings here. So if you guys want to know how to make these gingerbread man earrings, this is so simple, one of the easiest DIYs I have ever made. And then the second one is my recycled, 100% recycled gingerbread house. So I made all of this out of recycled materials and stuff that you could find at Dollar Tree. So I'm very excited about that. And it is not one that you have to throw away. It's gonna last for a long time. So if you wanna keep it for next year, you can. Um, but thank you to uh, Mary and Tony for inviting me to be a part of this collaboration. And let's hop into the two DIYs that I did for this video. So starting off with the gingerbread earrings, I'm starting with some Sculpey clay and I have this mold that I got off of Amazon. I will link it down in the description if you guys are interested in getting it. Um, it also came with other molds as well. But I'm just pushing in the clay, the Sculpey clay, into this particular mold. You could use any of the molds, but then I am also just flattening out the sides and the back and I am just doing it twice so that I have my earrings because obviously you have two in set of earrings. Um, and this is really so easy to do. Now that both of my earrings are made, I am taking an eye pin. Uh, you could get it at any craft store or on Amazon. I will link some down below as well. I'll just link all the materials I used. And then I'm just pushing it in to the very top of our gingerbread. Before he goes in to the toaster, I use the toaster oven. Um, and I bake it for 275 degrees for about 15 minutes. It depends on how thick your clay is. Um, typically a quarter of an inch is about 15 minutes at 275. So there they went in and they're coming out and then we're going to head on to painting it. You could paint it however you want to. Um, I decided to look up a reference photo online of uh, a Mickey one actually and I just took some red, white, a little bit of gold, a little bit of green, and some Christmas colors. So here I am painting. After I'm done painting, I'm just taking my little sterling silver uh, earring hooks uh, onto, I'm put, opening them and then clamping them down. I tried to do a close up, but obviously it didn't work out very well. Um, but then I just close it with my little um, plier tool and then yeah, you have your pair of earrings. So you could see I'm just kind of opening it there and uh, then I close it and then here are the final earrings. Um, I'm really happy with how they turned out. You can also cover them in resin or Mod Podge if you would like, but I don't think that's 100% necessary since you're using acrylic paint. But if you want to, feel free to do that resin or uh, Mod Podge. And then we're going on to my cardboard recycled gingerbread house. And so I am just marking different uh, lengths. The, the, the size of your gingerbread house can be totally up to you. I ended up making mine about three and uh, three quarter inches, I think, wide. And um, then I'm just adding little peaks. I'm doing four of each the, the same size. So that's going to be um, two together on the front and on the back. And you'll see what I end up doing. Um, but cutting cardboard can be difficult. So you either want to have a nice good pair of scissors or use a straight blade or razor or anything like that. Um, so yeah, just cut whatever size of cardboard you want for your base. Next, I started to plan out uh, where I wanted my windows and I wanted my door to go. And so I only did this on two of them because I ended up stacking them together. And so I made the uh, initial drawing 
and then I cut them out. Next I took some tissue paper and I made it the size of my uh, little house there and I gl glued that down. Um, I wanted this sort of in between, a layer sandwich in between my two pieces of cardboard just to make that um, with the windows and the door very soft and I wanted it to look very delicate and that way it wasn't just looking in at either brown cardboard or just nothing. So I wanted it to look like there was something in the windows. I ended up painting over some of them and yeah. Next I started making cuts for what would be inevitably the sides of my house as well as the fence and so I just need to measure out what side um, and size I wanted my sides to be and then I started hot gluing them down. Um, I put a little bit of hot glue on the inside as well just to try and have a little bit more security. I ended up switching from a low temp to high temp hot glue gun uh, towards the end when I started putting some of my uh, decorations on and, and my details just so that I knew for sure that it would stay. Um, in addition to my fencing and my size of my house, I also found the size, size that I needed for my roofing and uh, once again this could be whatever size that you guys want. I'm just only using cardboard that I got from a shipping box and so I like to use recycled materials for um, a lot of my art. And so it's just really easy when you don't have to pay for materials. Um, and I glued this down on another piece of cardboard that I made a little bit thicker. Um, I didn't make the fence as long as I had hoped. Um, so maybe in the future I would make it longer. But I ended up making these little stepping stones. And I took the cutouts from the windows and the door to make those. And then I'm just finishing off my fence here. Next I'm taking a cereal box, which is a lot easier to cut through, and I'm starting to make some trees. So I just freehanded a little evergreen tree, like a Christmas tree, and then I traced it again because you're going to need two of these if you want to make one tree. And uh, after I finish cutting that out, I'm going to make one slit, cut one slit in the top of one tree and one slit in the bottom of another tree and kind of just combine them together. Slide one on top of the other so that you have a three-dimensional recycled tree there. Um, I ended up painting them with, I used some spray paint and now I am taking some spackle. I mixed in a little bit of white acrylic paint just to help make it a little bit more uh, fluid, a little bit more uh, easy to work with, and also because the spackle that I was using was gray, so I needed to make it white because this is going to work as our icing for our house. Um, I ended up getting this little piping thing from the Dollar Tree, but I ended up moving into a Ziploc bag um, just to pipe the rest of it on because I was just having a hard time with some of it. Um, but you could see I started piping on my fence first. At first it worked really great and then it just was not working towards the end. So I ended up, like I said, with a Ziploc bag. Um, and this is the finished product. I didn't want to bore you guys with all the stuff that I did. but. It was a little messy to do, um, it took a while, and it takes a, a, probably tw a good 24 hours to fully dry, but if you do want to start sticking things onto it, it does act like a cement glue. Uh, so I ended up putting in little bells that I had gotten from the Dollar Tree that I had already had on hand, and uh, some other things that I had on hand, like the decorative balls that you put into vases. Um, I sort of lined my windows with that, and my roofing, and other things like that. So um, I had also taken some polymer clay trees that I had made, and I sort of smushed them on there. Um, but once the spackle dries, the stuff that you put onto it will dry along with it. So it's kind of like um, hot glue in itself <laughs> because everything will adhere to it and uh, it will dry very, very hard. And uh, once I did that, I waited a good 24 hours. I went in and I started to paint the base. Um, I probably could have gone in and done this first, but I didn't know exactly what I wanted to do when I had first started. So I decided that I wanted to paint it green as if it were, you know, summer at one point. Um, or here where I live in New England, we still have our nice green grass, but we do sometimes get a nice fresh blanket of snow. So I'm taking some of this um, fiber fill uh, 
stuff that I usually put into ears or pillows or anything like that. You could get it from Joann's. And it looks like fake snow. So I just started to line my grass of my little gingerbread house with this stuff and all around the sides, along the fencing. Um, and I just really enjoyed how it turned out. After gluing down my two trees, I went in and I painted a little bit of gold around the little uh, pathway, and then in the pathway I made it red. I really wanted to do some contrasting colors to really set it apart, um, but also play on this theme of red, green, Christmas gold, you know, silver, all the Christmassy colors. Um, and this is how it turned out. I actually used some party foil to cut those little Mickeys um, on my Cricut. That's obviously not necessary, but I wanted to do that to make it a little bit more Disney. I took some of that uh, garland wreath ties from the Dollar Tree and a bow from the Dollar Tree and I made a little wreath there. Um, the peppermint little beads I got from Joann's. Um, and yeah, I put a little bit of cinnamon on the top as well just to make it smell really nice as well as some glitter. So it smells really wonderful. I think it looks really nice. I, I've also painted some candles in the window. Um, this is the back of it. And yeah, I'm really proud of it. I used some paint markers as well to fill in some of the extra stuff, but I'm really happy with how it turned out. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Of course, I love making anything that is gingerbread, gingerbread man, uh, anything gingerbread-y. I just love all the gingerbread stuff and I love the smell of gingerbread and cinnamon and nutmeg and all those things. It really makes me think of the holidays. Um, once again, please, please go check out all the amazing creators that are in this swap. You won't want to miss their videos and I cannot wait to see their creativity. As always, I put out a video every single day for the whole month of December. I'm very excited to continue to do Vlogmas. So if you've missed any of the videos, I'm linking my playlist down below as well as all the materials that I used for these DIYs. So thank you again for watching and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.